Welcome back to Joe Stunner Boxing. Uh, there was an undisputed world title fight, women's world title fight on um, this evening in Madison Square Garden. And it was not between Katie Taylor and Amanda Serrano. It was between America's uh, Franchon Cruz de Zern and Sweden's Ellen Sedirus. And this was a super middleweight unification. Um, Sedirus, I think, ha oh, no, let me get this right now. Cruz de Zern was the WBC and WBO champ, and the IBF and WBA champ was um, Sedaris. Have I got that right? Whatever. All this alphabet soup stuff drives me mad. Anyway, it was for four belts. The whole lot. The whole shebang. The full Monty. Okay. So, I don't know whether you know anything about these two women, but the, the finesse don't really come into it, because... Uh, Ellen Sederus, um, she didn't take up boxing until she was 28, at least not competitively. She may have trained, but she didn't, didn't have her first fight, amateur or pro, until she was 28. And she got two of the belts, um, and she's a very big, imposing, Swedish-looking, you know, blonde, blue-eyed girl, very, very Amazonian in stature. But even she doesn't look intimidating compared to Miss... Um, Cruz de Zern, who, you know, I was looking at her in the corner and she, she came to the ring with this sort of balaclava thing on, this sort of pale blue, look like, look, look like her grand had knitted her a balaclava. And when she took it off, she, I mean, she had big purple sparkly shorts and a purple top and her hair was shaved at one side and and plaited in, I think, dreads maybe in the other. And, and she looked like, you know, Sonny Liston's gran. I mean, she, this was a big... Powerful, look, big, big, powerful looking woman, you know, big torso, big backside, big thigh, big everything, to be honest, but much shorter than the Swedish girl. Um, so <laughs> you couldn't have two more contrasting looking women. But in terms of fighting ability, I don't think there really was that much difference because neither of them was particularly technical. This was a fight, not a boxing match. Now, I'd seen Cruz Desern. I seen her debut, and I remember it well. Why? Because it's against someone called Clarissa Shields, and I remember thinking, uh, watching that fight, thinking, I think she deserves at least a draw. And in fact, it was like thirty six forty, I think, all all three cards for Clarissa, if I remember rightly. But I, I remember thinking, no, 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 this, this, I don't know who the hell this Cruz Desern woman is, but she deserves at least a share of these of this fight. And then she hasn't lost since. And that was back in 2016. Both ladies were making their, both Clarissa and and uh, Franchon were making their debuts. And since then, uh, Franchon hasn't lost. But she's only had another seven fights. This was her eighth fight since then. So she's now eight and one. Uh, she won a unanimous decision over Ellen Sederus. And what a bloody fight it was. Because Sederus, who came in, um, I think, with an 8-0 record, um, she only had she had four KOs, which fifty percent is quite high for women. Whereas uh, Franchon, despite looking terrifying like a genuine bona fide cave woman, she uh, she only had one KO in her seven wins coming in, and and this one went the distance. And it's going to be memorable, but not just because of uh, because of the sheer will of both women and the complete lack of boxing skill, but because Ellen. Sederus of Sweden truly is a, a Viking warrior. Uh, she, <laughs> her, by the third round, her face was an absolute mask of blood, pissing out of her nose, her mouth. I don't think the uh, her corner of her of sponges because they weren't sponging anything off her, and she was coming out for each round just covered in blood. It was scary to watch, you know. As far as another scary thing was the way that uh, Franchon Cruz de Zern throws her punches because. There are baseball players who who throw softer, um, who have softer arm movements, softer uh, throwing motion than this lady. You would think she was wielding a baseball bat at times, you know, throwing boulders at people. Um, Sedirus being the much taller women, I mean, she's, she's about 5'10", 5'11", at least I think three inches taller than, than Franchon. Not a hint of a jab. No, no, no. She was going to fight small. And it didn't half show because they just had this massive tear up. Um, 
I thought Franchon won at least nine of the rounds, probably the lot, actually. Maybe if at a squeeze you could give uh, Elin Sedirus one or two rounds at an absolute push. But it was all, all of those rounds were won on sheer brute strength. There was nothing scientific about this at all. She waded forward, slinging enormous wide punches, Hail Mary punches, which Sedirus couldn't, she couldn't get out of the way of a lot of them. Um, like I say, blood flying everywhere. Um, and after two or three rounds, I thought this fight's going to be over soon. It reminded me, I was sort of waiting for a repeat of, um, do you remember that famous Anne Wolf fight where she knocked out Vonda Ward? Well, physically they look kind of similar. Obviously one black girl, one white girl, one tall girl, a tall white girl and a short, shorter black girl. But no, no, there's nothing wrong with Sidiris' uh, chin, um, even if her face has been caved in. Uh, and I think it's fair to say that uh, Franchon doesn't have the power of an Anne Wolf. Clearly she doesn't. But what she does have is four belts because she won this fight unanimously, not easily. I mean, there were actually moments where Ellen was landing punches and making her think. But the sheer grit and crude cavewoman-esque endeavour of, of Franchon is something that's going to be difficult to beat. You're going to have to have skills. I mean, I could see, you know, someone like Savannah Marshall knocking her out um, if Savannah moves up to super middle because Franchon just hits, hits too much. She gets hit too much. And Savannah hits like a truck. But, um, but yeah, she's got all four bells. Well done to her, you know, the... <laughs> there ain't a lot of uh, a lot of skill on show. Ellen Sedirus, by the way, is one of only five uh, professional women boxers in Sweden. So she did well to pick up a couple of belts, but she certainly wasn't successful on this occasion. Um, the new undisputed super middleweight women's world champion is Franchon Cruz de Zern. So well done to her. Back to the drawing board for Ellen, who is 37, so maybe she'll think, oh, I've given it a bit of a run, maybe I've had enough now. But, you know, maybe if the get belts get splintered, she'll pick one of one or two of them up, I don't know. But what did you think of this fight? It was kind of gruelling and bloody and sort of entertaining, but not that much. It was, I don't know, I don't know what to make of it. It's a weird one. Um, I'm waiting for the Taylor-Serrano fight to start, and I just hope there's going to be a lot more skill on, on offer there. Because these two girls looked, I don't want to sound unkind, they, they, they were both gutsy ladies. Um, and it wasn't not entertaining, but they didn't look like they belonged anywhere near world level, put it that way. But what did you think? Did you see the fight? Let me know your opinions. Thanks, as always, for tuning in. Hit the subscribe button. If you could pop that subscribe button, that would be a big help. Um, thanks for your time, as always. And we shall speak again soon. Bye for now.